Good evening and welcome from the Television Centre here in Shepherd's Bush, London, where at the table we have the flamboyant Prenderville, about to pop the black. And he's made a terrible mistake there. He's gone in off. That's seven points away. The gentleman that he is takes the cue ball out of the pocket and places it for his opponent. His opponent, the world champion of the year 2000. About to pick up the cue ball. Our champion is in fact not yet switched on. He takes his time. The opponent, the, the flamboyant Prenderville, Kieran, is waiting for the action of his opponent. Any moment now, it will happen. Well, we appear to... Nothing appears to be happening. Let me introduce, first of all... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. And the opponent's back at it. He places the cue ball in the spot he wanted. It's on the yellow spot. Which ball is he going to pot? He's in for a big break. Takes the cue. A two-way cue and the red into the bottom pocket. <laughs> but it's not quite there. <laughs> I was about to concede the frame here to this guy. It's amazing. This, I'm advising, is one of the wonderful things about live television. You set the thing up so that he's got to win the frame. He's bound to win the match. And even when he does decide to operate, he still can't put the red down. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hissing Sid. Goodbye, Hissing Sid. Oh, and thank you, Ted Lowe, for that sympathetic commentary. Hissing Sid is, of course, a robot, supposedly carrying out pre-programmed pre instructions to an accuracy of within a millimetre. Yes, quite. Well, by robotic standards, he's cheap because he doesn't run on cumbersome hydraulics or electric motors. He's pneumatic. He runs on compressed air, some of the time, hence the name Hissing Sid. Now, at each of Sid's three joints, this is his waist joint, if you like, here's his trunk, here's the shoulder joint, this is his arm, and finally at the end there is the wrist joint. Now, at each of these joints are tiny valves, which can be opened or closed according to an electronic memory inside this box here. Well, up till now, compressed air was mostly used in single function machines that simply repeated the same task over and over again. But now the very complex job of operating all those valves in the correct sequence is handled by a microprocessor. And you don't have to be a computer programmer to teach Sid a new routine. It's so simple that even I can do it. Yes, well, perhaps not. But because it takes a few minutes to guide his arm through the precise movements you want him to make and then punch the instructions separately into this keypad here, well, I programmed him just before the show to lay the table for a rather special meal I'm knocking up later. You're going to get another chance now, Sid. So do it right. <laughs> I should say that Sid is not the latest in junk executive toys. He does have a more serious purpose than playing snooker or laying the table. The makers are aiming him at The makers are aiming him at industry, where they hope he'll do the kind of light lifting and packing work that many robots can actually do already, but are just too expensive to buy in. Well, because he uses compressed air, he's clean, and he's light enough to be pushed around on wheels by a man or a woman. And right now, I feel like breaking him with an axe. All right, Sid, we'll see you later in the show. All right, Sid, get this salad dressed. From hissing Sid and the rest of the robots on the program, a very good night.